the Colorado River is an interesting example of the importance of state action. There are seven states uh, and parts of Mexico that are provided water by the Colorado River. And the about a hundred years ago, more than a hundred years ago, all the states recognized that this was a resource that they had to all that they were sharing and they had to figure out how to work with it. And about 20 years later, the a treaty with Mexico brought that aspect of the river into how the river has been managed. But beginning in about 2000, climate change has had an impact which scientists in the area call aridification of the Colorado River Basin. This is not drought. It is a fundamental change. Uh, and the several generations later from 20, 1922, when a compact was signed between all the states on how they were gonna manage it, now these generations have to once again recognize, oh, we're sharing this with people, with people we don't know, states we hate, you know, whatever, downstream and upstream. And since 2000, uh, they have done a good job of learning each other's problems and figuring out how to use less. And uh, the environment has been considered because of the active participation of various environmental groups. and. In, in the last 10 years or so, the tribes along the river, of which there are a not good number, have been pushing for and slowly gaining a voice in how the river should be managed. So one of the important things in this election is to realize how important it is to know about and support the people who are, make, who are doing these negotiations uh, in some states like Arizona, the whole legislature has to agree to whatever gets figured out. In other states like mine in Wyoming, it's really the state engineer and the governor, but they have lots of advisory groups advising them. So it's important to follow that and to support it and also to support federal legislation funding, which interestingly enough, the um, bipartisan infrastructure law and the Inflation Reduction Act, which were passed uh, early in the current administration, actually have come up with important funding for people at all levels in that river uh, to sometimes experiment and sometimes go ahead with changes so that they can use less water. 80% of the water in the Colorado is still used in agriculture. So it's not, although the urban areas are making a big effort, it's not really an urban issue. It's a major uh, agricultural issue. Meanwhile, on all kinds of other things, as uh, James and Bob have noted, the uh, all the way from school district, school board elections, where there are real questions in some states about whether climate change education is going to occur, be allowed to, to occur through city and county um, elections, commissioners, councils who make land use decisions that have a major impact on land and water and also on pollution levels, crowded crowds, that kind of thing. Uh, also often on local aquifers that are affected by, uh, by residential development. Then up to state legislatures, uh, a number of them have their environmental statutes, which allows their agencies to have what's called primacy in the enforcement of even federal uh, environmental law. But if there is not adequate staff and funding, which there is not, for instance, in my state, then that enforcement at the local, at the state level doesn't really happen. And then of course, on to the, uh, the congressional, the Senate and House races, it's important to think about both where they are on such issues as support for the Colorado River negotiations and experimentation with water use reduction, and also such things as potential changes in the National Environmental Policy Act, which a number of, of uh, senators from Western states have long 
sought to change the it's called the that act is called NEPA and it requires an analysis of the environmental impact of any federal action uh, and congressional people house and senate from all over the country need to be aware of any proposed changes in that and the other major federal laws uh, and so as to be able to take a position on it so i think it's very important for uh, voters to, for you and your friends to be aware of what the positions are of people at all those levels of government. Thank you.